Hi everybody, my name is Dave Olson. I'm a product marketing manager at Renesis Electronics America, and we're here at the 2017 Embedded Vision Summit. And I'm going to show you a couple of really interesting demos that we've put together for the show, uh, specifically showcasing the RZG microprocessor. This is a smart fridge. It's smart because there's a lot of uh, artificial intelligence that's actually embedded into this fridge right now. With the outward facing camera, you can have the uh, appliance do a face identification. So if you're a user, the fridge can tell who you are. So if I put my face in the field of view, it should detect me and it recognizes me and it can tell me how many of my favorite items are in the fridge. So for instance, my profile says I like beer, so it actually shows me there's one Heineken and one Budweiser, two beers. It also shows me the uh, activity level or how many times I've taken out beer over the last day or so. So if I return to the main menu, you can also see over on this screen, there's a picture of the contents of the fridge. That's being enabled by another camera located at the back of the fridge whose field of view covers the whole door. So let's just, for instance, take out one of these items, the water. Now, the door has been closed. The algorithm is gonna process. It's gonna take a little bit of time because all of these individual bottles are being detected or segmented and furthermore identified. So there's several um, processes that are happening in parallel. Just the way the software was written, we don't update the picture until the processing is complete. So now you can see the image has been updated and the um, uh, list of the contents has been updated as well. So I have one fewer bottles of water than I did. So if you don't have multiple objects to detect and identify at the same time, then you can use a simpler convolutional neural network that will also run faster. So for instance, here we've also got um, partner software Uncanny Vision's uh, Uncanny DLL or DL uh, running on the RZG, detecting and identifying produce. So, for example, within less than two seconds, that detected that this was a head of cabbage. You probably can't read it, but it says that on the top of the screen. Let's say, take another bit of produce, broccoli. If I clear this out of the screen, it detects broccoli with a high degree of confidence, again, under three seconds. Take the squash. And once again, it detects butternut squash with a high degree of confidence. Now, it's able to do this because the algorithm was trained to recognize images of these types. Not these exact images, but butternut squash in general. And there are certain shared characteristics within these objects that make it possible for the network to be trained and then deployed in the field, like we have here. So, I think this is a very fascinating technology. It's a burgeoning discipline. Market projections are very large. And as you can see, it applies to a wide range of application spaces.